Welcome. In this video we will look at SAP S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management and the Kit to Order functionality. Kit to Order comes in handy if you're selling kits to customers that you do not necessarily carry as independent materials in your warehouse. However, since all components of the kit are available in your warehouse, you can build it on demand. This video presents a high-level and generic overview of a specific SAP product or functionality. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. The goal of this video is to provide information that will make you better equipped to make your own choices. Before we kick off, let us look at some of the benefits of kit to order in SAP S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management. Being able to build kits on demand, represent increased flexibility and fulfillment of customer-specific requirements. By building sales kits from components instead of storing kits as independent materials, you may reduce inventory cost and free up warehouse space. Kit to order represents an efficient form of postponement, and enables you to respond to late changes by performing assemble during order fulfillment. In this demo we will be utilizing a VAS order. Let us explain the concept briefly. A VAS order is a document that is used to instruct warehouse employees about the process steps they have to perform, and with which products. A VAS order is created on the basis of a delivery with a packaging specification. The packaging specification contains information about the activity steps that need to be performed. Combined with a delivery, warehouse personnel will know the exact amount of work that is needed. VAS is short for Value Added Services. You can use the data collected in the VAS order as a calculation basis for external or internal billing. In our scenario, we will look at one sales kit. We will have one sales order. It consists of one sales kit that is billed during order fulfillment. The kit consists of two components. Please note that this video represents a manual walkthrough of an end-to-end -end process. Most of the intermediate process steps can be fully automated in a production environment. First, let's create the sales order. During sales order creation we will see that the components of the sales kit, the underlying bill of material, becomes visible as we enter the kit material number. We will subsequently create the corresponding outbound delivery, and with that, the warehouse processes can start. In the next step we will have a look at the warehouse request in EWM, and even if it could have been fully automated, manually create the warehouse tasks for picking of components. Before we manually create the warehouse tasks, we can see that also in EWM the one kit and the two components are reflected. So we create the warehouse tasks for the two components manually. A process that would, as stated earlier, be automated in a production environment. We will also take a brief look in the warehouse monitor, before executing the picks. This step is of course fully optional. We can see that we have two warehouse tasks created, as part of the same warehouse order. In the next step we will pick the two kit components and bring it to the VAS order work center for assembly. After picking we will take a quick look in the monitor to see the progress from that angle. This is also of course fully optional. In the warehouse monitor we can that the warehouse order with the two components is marked as completed. The actual assembly, or kitting, takes place in the VAS work center. At the VAS work center, we open the process value added services app. In a VAS order we are able to record time consumption.
When we complete the kitting process, a warehouse task to move the kit to the goods issue zone is automatically created. Before we move on, let us take yet another quick look in the warehouse monitor. We can see that our warehouse task, the move from the VAS workstation to the goods issue zone, has been assigned to the kitage queue. We will end this demo by moving the assembled kit to the goods issue zone, ready to be shipped to the customer. We have now seen how the creation of a sales order with a kit triggers the picking of the relevant components. At the end of the picking, the components will be brought to the VAS work center. Kitting will be performed, controlled by a VAS order. Finally, we will bring the assembled kit to the goods issue zone and perform goods issue. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let's recap the benefits of utilizing kit to order in your warehouse. Being able to build kits on demand, represent increased flexibility and fulfillment of customer-specific requirements. By building sales kits from components instead of storing kits as independent materials, you may reduce inventory cost and free up warehouse space. Kit to order represents an efficient form of postponement and enables you to respond to late changes by performing assemble during order fulfillment. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.